In this video, I'll show you how we can connect NAS storage to the Proxmox. So let me show you step by step. I'm on the Proxmox virtual environment and there is data center inside this. We have one Proxmox virtual environment. And if you see here right now, there is no shared storage. Uh, these are both local storages. There is no network storage available right now. In order to add any storage, we'll go to data center and in data center, we'll go to storage and we'll click on add. And here we can use different options here. Of course, we can use ESXi also. We can use the Proxmox backup server also. We can also use the local storages, Butterfuss and all of that. But here we'll be using NFS, which is network storage. So that network storage is TrueNAS. So if I show you TrueNAS, the IP address of TrueNAS is 192.168.240.10. In dataset, you can see here that I created the dataset called Proxmox. You can see here, this is the path of the storage. This was created as the NFS storage. So here you can see the roles is manage NFS share. You can see here the share is via NFS and description is Proxmox VE. It has been enabled. So the path here, if you see the path is mount data store Proxmox. This is the storage which has been added. So I'll be copying this path and I'll show you why I have copied this path. So first of all, we'll go here and I will give it a name, for example, TrueNAS. And server is 192.168.240.10. And here, export, see the list of shared. You can see here, mount, data store, Proxmox. This is available right now. So what is the content? So content is your choice. What type of content you want to store on NFS? I'll be using VZDump backup, containers, and container templates also, ISO images also, so snippet also. So I will be using for everything because this is my shared storage and add and while adding you can see here i'm getting this error so as i mentioned earlier that we have uh, enabled this storage if i go here and this particular storage which is proxmox this is enabled publicly you can see here that everyone has access to this but everyone can't logically access this so if i click here manage click here on these three dots icon and edit you can see here down that these are the authorized hosts so 192.168.240.2, 240.3. These are the authorized hosts. I can even authorize this particular host also, which is 105. So what I'll do here, I'll go here and add another host, which will be 192.168.240.105. Save this now. And now the NFS share has been updated. We'll try to add this again. And you can see here that the TrueNAS storage has been Add it. We can use the NFS share for backup and restore of Proxmox virtual environment.